Thank you for joining in and for today's video I have a cute little um, bee painting here and this one is with the gouache. I just used um, a mixture there. I have some Art Philosophy and the Turner brand and then there's a quick pencil drawing there that I'm showing. You can feel free to pause it and then draw out your own if you'd like to continue on. So make sure to lighten your lines first before you start to paint. And I'm going to start with the faces first. So I was looking for a peach color. So I used that, uh, I think it was the June Brilliant. But if you don't have that, you can mix your own. That's no big deal. So you can use like a little bit of white maybe some burnt sienna and yellow, or you can try some white orange and a tiny bit of yellow, and it'll give you some sort of a peachy color. And then you can try to, <laughs> see I went over one of the little cheeks, but that's okay. I can still see the pencil lines underneath the gouache, so that's okay. If you bump something, it's no big deal, because we're gonna put everything back on top later. And then we're going to let the, that peach color dry up and then moving on to some lemon yellow. And we're going to do some of the stripes on the bodies. I'm going to start here at the top, so it's the top, middle, and bottom stripes. And for the cheeks, I used a little bit of crimson red mixed with the white. And then later on, I did go back in and add a tiny bit of white, like around the edges and in the center for highlights later on. And because my paper is white, I'm going to tint the wings with some blue and then the titanium white there. But if you have like a colored journal, that would be even better. You don't even have to use the blue. But if you're using just a normal white journal, I would recommend tinting them with blue or maybe a tiny bit of purple so they show up nice. So we're going to do blue first, and then I do go back in and add some of the white on top for highlights. Okay, and moving on, we're going to let the wings dry up a little bit there, and this is really going to tie everything together. We're ready for the black. So I'm going to start off with the bodies here and just fill in some of the stripes. And you should really use a tiny brush. Mine was a little bit too big here and I ended up switching.
Moving on, we're going to start the faces now. And if you don't have a tiny brush, you can use a Sharpie or some sort of fine liner. So you do have some options for the lines here on the faces, but I did keep it very easy. So we have a V shape for the eyes and then just a cute little smile. The antennas are going to be black and then I did just trace around the shape of the heads and made them black as well. And you're just going to continue on and we're going to do the same things with the arms and legs. And last but not least here, I am doing the highlights that I mentioned before. So I just added some more in the middles and then I added a little bit on the bodies and on the faces. And that is it for today's quick wash tutorial. Be sure to check out my Skillshare or Patreon if you're looking for longer, more involved tutorials and um, direct communication with me. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.